Hello there, Virgo. Welcome back. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of February 2023. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Feel free to leave a positive comment down below. And if you are interested in booking a private reading with me, there is a link to my website in the description box under the video. Um, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. As always, please keep an open mind. Remember, not all of these messages will be for every single person who watches. So let's see what's going on in love and relationships for you at this time. In your overall energy, you've got the key. Locked doors can now be opened. So if there was something that either an opportunity that passed you by um, or you felt it wasn't for you, it's going to open up. You're going to have another shot at something here. You're also um, finding a solution. Okay. Um, I'm hearing communication is key. Um, some of you may literally be moving house or picking up the keys for a new house, a new car. Um, someone may have accidentally locked themselves out of the house. Someone may have also blocked you on social media and they may now, um, you know, open, open it back up to you or refriend you if they've unfriended you on social media. Um, I don't know who that message is for, but there's going to be things, somebody's going to be more open to communication, more open-minded, um, opening themselves up to maybe feeling more vulnerable. All right, let's see what else is going on for you at this time, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp. Love and relationships, please, spirit. Here we go off the bottom. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Two of Cups. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Queen of Wands. Okay, Nine of Cups on the bottom. Okay, so someone's assessing a relationship, possibly thinking about commitment, looking at the seeds you've planted so far, and things may not have turned out how you had hoped. Um, somebody's looking at the past, the present, and the future. They've taken some time out. Um, there's a lot of roses here. Okay. Not all of her roses bloomed. Roses represent true love and the blood of Adonis. Um, very passionate love here. Someone's invested a lot of time, energy, and effort into a relationship that may have been off balance. It wasn't very reciprocal. It's some sort of a soulmate connection. Someone's looking at what's come before and they're wondering if they should continue investing in this relationship and keep putting energy towards something here because I feel like someone's trying to hold on to hope. Someone may have been a bit commitment phobic. They've always been, you know, chasing after um, friends with benefits type of situations or, you know, just sex only, something non-committal. And they may now be looking at wanting commitment, wanting a traditional marriage. Someone has faith and hope that this soulmate connection, because this is a, also a blessed union of souls, okay, doing what's best for you. Um, someone could be very, um, it's like life has been their greatest teacher. Somebody needed time to figure out what they really wanted for themselves. They had to learn how to have faith and hope in themselves. There's some sort of wish being granted here. This is also emotional fulfillment. 
emotional independence with the Nine of Cups here. And you've got two soulmates here. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Leo, another Earth sign, another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's grab another deck here, but I feel like it's time. And I think I feel like someone's had enough time to figure something out. You do have the key here. Locked doors can now be open. I think they're ready now to commit. Somebody knows what they want. Somebody, they see somebody is very attractive, sexy, good looking. Somebody's attracting the right relationship. Okay, the chariot just came out. So you could be dealing with a cancer here, which is your opposite sign. Your ideal match is a cancer. Um, your opposite sign is Scorpio. But somebody is moving forward now. They're very much in control. There's no holding back anymore. If somebody was holding back on making a decision, trying to figure out what they wanted, um, Somebody here is going to figure it out. Somebody is very much in control. Um, you're destined for victory and success here, moving forward in a balanced manner. Rising above any obstacles, breaking, breaking down barriers here. Clarify the chariot with the key. Four of Wands, yeah, ascending, ready to go to the next level here. This is, you know, going from being single to being engaged, um, being alone and moving in with somebody here. Literally, somebody could be moving house or buying a house here, moving forward with something, and it's going to be a successful relationship. And this is something that you've been, somebody's been really thinking about it long and hard, and now they know what they want and they're going to go for it. They want something more. Somebody's attracted the right person or the right relationship to them. Clarify the Hierophant. Judgment. Somebody is making a decision. This is based on their own beliefs. Okay. Being very discerning. Somebody is very selective about you know, who they get involved with. There could be a reconciliation of a, of a broken or strained relationship or marriage here. It's very spiritual energy. It's very karmic energy. This can be learning your karmic lessons. This is a final decision being made. Somebody wants to resurrect a relationship, a relationship here with two soulmates. Okay. Somebody is very, very careful. They've carefully thought about this for a long time. And now it's judgment day. The decision needs to be made. If somebody was taking forever to make up their mind, somebody's about to move on here. Somebody is not going to sit around and wait for someone because they know that they are not. They, this Queen of Wands knows her worth. She knows that she is not an option. She's not going to sit around and wait for somebody to decide whether or not, because she is a yes, okay? She knows she's a yes. She is all of that in a bag of chips. She's beautiful, sexy, attractive. She's a go-getter. She goes after what she wants. If someone doesn't see her worth, she'll find someone who does. Somebody needs to make up their mind, because they're going to miss out on an opportunity here. So whatever, if there was some, if there was like a third party, because she can represent like a friends with benefits or sex only relationship, you know, like a, like a side person, she may, she might be moving on now. That might have been the obstacle that was blocking this true soulmate connection. There could have been a third party. There could have been someone interfering here. She can be very witchy. In her low vibration, she can be the mean girl or somebody that practices black magic. 
clarify judgment with the Hierophant. Five of Swords, yeah, somebody... Somebody felt like they needed to be right. They wanted to argue for the sake of arguing. They are like getting in their own way. They are, you know, um, believing what they wanted to believe. They were in some sort of denial. There was a lot of mental mind fuckery here. And now they're beating themselves up and now they want a second chance. They want another shot. It's like they're finally getting out of their own way. They're defeated. They can't they can't deny this connection any longer. They can't they can't deny this. Their own negativity and mental mind fuckery and playing games, like they they just messed it up for themselves. And now they want forgiveness and a second chance. And it's going to be up to you. Not everybody deserves a second chance. Okay. There, I mean, people, yeah, people can change and stuff. I mean, maybe it was just the timing was off for this true soulmate connection. Somebody had to go learn some lessons and they were playing with fire and got burned. Somebody was... Messing with a karmic soulmate here, but they, they learned a tough lesson. So it's going to be up to you whether or not you're going to allow this person back in your life. Um, some people can change. Okay, maybe this person finally saw the light and they're back, you know, in touch with their own spirituality, with their higher selves. Because someone tried getting, you know, straying them. They want to stray. Somebody led them astray here. This Queen of Wands may have led them astray. And they took their power back. And someone has faith and they believe that, okay, I, I know that if this is the right person for me, it's not going to pass me by. I know that, you know, they will forgive me. You know, if I explain what happened... Again, it could have been the timing wasn't right. Somebody needed to wrap up some karmic lessons. They may have had unfinished business somewhere else or with somebody else. They needed to do that to clear that shit out so that they could come correct and be the partner that you deserve, Virgo. Again, use your common sense. Okay. Look at them from a spiritual, as a spiritual being, not just as a human being, because nobody's perfect. But also know your worth. You, you, you are never going to be somebody's side piece or afterthought or sloppy second or, or rebound or second option. On the bottom of the clarifying deck is the Nine of Wands. This is someone who's been through a lot. They're, they've experienced a lot. They've been through a lot of shit that doesn't kill them but makes them stronger. And somebody needed needed all of these experiences. They're still holding a wand. They're not giving up, but they, they're they exhausted. It's it, This has been a long road, and somebody is just tired. And... You know, but they're not giving up. This is about perseverance and having faith and just, you know, a solution is coming in. And there's going to be quick forward movement now. Things are going to take off quickly. Let's get an advice message and then I'll grab some love messages for you, Virgo. Someone's been thinking about reaching out. They have to literally piss their get off the pot. The time is at hand now. This cannot, there's, there cannot be any more delay. They, they need to make a decision here and get out of their own way. Or they're going to 
lose somebody forever. Yeah, you've got, um, this is number 13. I want to say, I want to say this is the call. Let me grab the artist book here. I don't often use this deck. There's a lot of cards that look alike. It's isolation. Somebody feels like they're alone in the world here. They feel isolated. Um, they have all of the sweet stuff, the sweetness. They're very attractive, but they feel isolated. They feel left out in the cold. Someone feels like they were blocked. Someone may have kicked you to the curb. Somebody, somebody wanted to, to win at all costs. There might have been some sort of an argument here. And they're making you out to be the bad guy when, in fact, they're the ones that did you wrong. Very narcissistic type of person that would isolate, make you feel isolated, alone. Um, they weren't there for you when you needed them. Somebody feels like they're never going to find a, a person. They're never going to be in a relationship, even though they're very attractive, intelligent, good-looking, sexy. Somebody just, they want their wish fulfillment. I feel like the timing, the timing wasn't right for this before. Somebody needed to, again, wrap up something, some unfinished business with somebody else and learn some tough lessons before they are going to be able to be the partner that you deserve and need. All right. I feel like they're lonely without you. Let's grab some love messages for this. But this was some sort of a spiritual lesson or spiritual challenge. You got a couple sevens here with the chariot and the seven of pentacles. So it's like a divine challenge. First love message for you, Virgo, is closed gate. Fate has closed the gate. No more to return. So you're you're done. You've learned your lessons. You've learned your karmic lessons. You're done with the past person. Or they're done with the past person. Fate is sealed here. Somebody is not going back to the past again. Again, it's, it's your call whether or not you want to allow someone to come back. It's up to you. And then you've got devotion. This love anchors you together. Nothing can separate you. This is a very strong spiritual bond. It's a, a mind, body, and soul connection. Nothing can separate you, especially if it's a twin flame or a true divine soulmate connection. It's your person. And then you've got love language, speaking each other's language, nurtures love to grow. I said communication was key. Getting on the same page, speaking the same love language. Okay. Luminous, radiant and vibrant energy shine upon you now. Shatem, this is Leo energy. Okay. Somebody is seeing you. This is, yes, it's enlightenment. Somebody is getting the attention that they deserve. Again, somebody may have been, you know, giving, giving to other people. They were never there for you. Um, they're always worried about other people and not you or this connection. And, um, and you're just glowing, radiating love, radiating posi positivity and good energy. So you're going to attract similar energy to you, Virgo. So thank you so much for watching. That's what I have for you at this time. Until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.